This video is a brief overview of Connext CMS. Connect CMS uh, is a content management system similar uh, to WordPress, uh, except that it runs mostly on the client side or, or the browser, uh, and it is uh, focused on JavaScript, so uh, it is called a CMS for client side JavaScript developers. So Connect CMS has a few goals. It attempts to combine the best features of WordPress and Keystone JS. It's focused on JavaScript homogeny, and what that means is uh, the software is a stack of, of different software packages, but every piece of software runs JavaScript. So that's what it means by JavaScript homogeny. JavaScript is the only language being used, and it runs through the full stack. It's on the server, and it's on the browser. Uh, doing it, another goal is to do as much in the browser as possible. Uh, allows for development with front-end tools like Chrome Dev Tools or Firefox's Dev Tools. The ability to pause your code and look under the hood and see what's going on, as opposed to server-side rendered uh, HTML and and application functionality. Uh, just trying to keep it in the browser and keep it accessible both to the developer and the end user. So Connect CMS has a few main features. Uh, it has local file and image hosting, similar to WordPress, as well as automatic image resizing. Uh, it also has local email routing, like uh, with using NodeMailer. Uh, it allows for simple forms to be emailed to an address and interfaced uh, easily with Gmail or pretty much any other email service provider out there. Uh, as mentioned before, it also allows for debugging and development in the browser, uh, and and the JavaScript homogeny is also uh, important. Uh, it also uses both the Backbone JS and Require JS frameworks. Uh, Backbone JS is a framework similar to Ember or Angular, except that it's accepted as the least opinionated and, and lightest weight and easiest to, uh, to pick up. There's a lot of free resources out on the internet for learning Backbone. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of effort. Uh, also, the code has been modularized with Require.js and that allows uh, the CMS, which is uh, a pretty sophisticated application, to be broken up into lots of small files and it improves uh, uh, maintenance and uh, understanding of, of what piece of the code lives where and what does it do. So let me show you a little bit about, uh, let me show you the, the CMS and compare it a little bit to WordPress. So here's a, a WordPress blog. This is my blog. And what a lot of people like about WordPress is the navigation on the left. Uh, you've got your, your home page, comes up with a dashboard. You can see here I've got Google Analytics plugged in there. And uh, they segregate the websites based on posts for blog posts, pages, which are uh, similar blog posts. The interface is the same, but they don't change as often. They're treated a little bit differently. And then you've got your media library where you can add photos and, uh, and uh, do, do some minor editing. And you can add new photos and they automatically get resized. When you go to put them in a post, you'll see a menu of like small, medium, and large. And the images have already been resized for you and the user doesn't have to think about it. And those are some pretty cool features. And these features are copied in Connect CMS. So here's the ConnectCMS.com homepage. And if you click on this button, try the demo, it will open up this page here. And the login and password is right there. Uh, so you just click login to the back end. Uh, and you will be presented with a login request. Put that login and password right in there. And what you'll get is the default Keystone dashboard. Now, I'm not going to cover this right now. I'll cover this later. But what you want to do is connect, click on this link at the top that says Connect CMS Dashboard. Now, this is the Connect CMS Dashboard. And here's where I was telling you the menu is very similar to WordPress. You've got your posts, and you've got your pages, and you've got your media, and you've got an image library and you can add new images and they automatically get resized 
And here are, for instance, links to an image that's been resized to the different sized images. And you can create posts and pages in a WYSIWYG editor just like WordPress. And you can insert images from your image library and select the different sizes just like that. And so very similar in terms of interface. So if you have used WordPress or you have clients that liked using WordPress, the interface should feel very natural. So the local and image file hosting, um, email routing, I've already talked about, I've already talked about these things. So let's talk about the software stack. So connect a content management system, a CMS, is comprised of a software stack and in this case connect CMS combines with Keystone JS to create a, a, a three-layered software stack that uses nothing but JavaScript so the, there's the end-user experience of ordinary websites that use ordinary JavaScript at the top and that's what the the end-user experiences in those websites are served up by Keystone JS running on a server somewhere and then in between, you have the client side backend, and that's the dashboard I just showed you. That's primarily Connect CMS. And because that's written in JavaScript and it uses Backbone and Require, it's very easy to customize that backend. And because it interfaces with Keystone on the server, it's very easy to create custom data. Like maybe you want to do a survey, or you want to collect email addresses, or you need a very sophisticated order form all that stuff can be very easily developed using front-end tools and then the client can the the dashboard the back-end is also easily customized using front-end tools to uh, move all that data around and manipulate it and create an intelligent user interface and then finally at the bottom of the stack is the server which is running node uh, which is the interpreter that runs the Keystone JS software. And Keystone JS is really the engine that all this is built on top of. Uh, that's handling the persistence to the database, it's serving up the web pages, and, uh, and it's uh, hosting the API that Connect CMS uses to talk to it and pass data back and forth. So I just covered a whole bunch of terms right there. Let's take a step back and just make sure everyone's on the same page. So what is a CMS? CMS stands for Content Management System and it's usually segregated by the two terms of front end and back end. So front end is the visible website that a normal user would experience. And then the back end is also done in the browser but it requires a login and that's why it's called the back end that the that the website owner typically logs in and that's how they manage the content on the site. Another couple terms that get thrown around a lot is client side versus server side and sometimes they get used uh, synonymous with front end and back end and in this case that's not accurate. Um, so I just discussed the front end and the back end here in terms of the experience of a content management system and a client side means that it happens in the browser and server side means it happens on the server and uh, so it's very important to keep these four terms uh, in mind so let's go back up to this uh, software stack you can see now that those two top layers happen on the client side in the browser both the front end and the back end and then the server side is where Keystone JS lives and everything happens on the server so let's compare a few things between Connect CMS and WordPress WordPress uh, does not play well with JavaScript and it's written in PHP and MySQL and if you are a JavaScript developer those are a big bummer and that's largely why Connect CMS was created is to take some of the advantages created by Keystone JS and move them into the front end so that they can be used developed using front end tools the nice things about WordPress is that it's got an intuitive interface and the themes and the plugins and it's really the themes and the plugins that make uh, WordPress uh, one of the most popular pieces of software to run a website um, and uh, both Keystone JS and Connect CMS is working towards that goal uh, neither of us are there yet but that's the eventual goal 
but the other big advantage is the intuitive interface, which we I've copied pretty well there with Connect CMS. So why couldn't you just run a website using Connect Keystone JS? Uh, that's a really good um, thing to keep in mind. A lot of people do, but Keystone JS has made design decisions. So in here, I, I, I use the word con lightly because they're not cons; they're just design decisions. But Keystone JS uh, has made a commitment to the server-side debugging and development environment. So if you are a Node expert and you like writing server-side JavaScript, more power to you. Keystone JS is probably all you need. But if you're a front-end developer and you're used to using Chrome Dev Tools or Firefox Dev Tools, and you built websites using HTML and CSS and JavaScript, then Connect CMS is going to be much more comfortable for you. And the other big difference between Connect CMS and Keystone JS is that Keystone JS is uh, cloud friendly and and uh, sort of service agnostic. So they they like to use cloud services like Cloudinary for image hosting. Previously, they used Mandrel for email services. They've got hooks for the Amazon Cloud and Microsoft Azure and lots of different cloud services. So if you're comfortable playing in that space, Keystone JS is is more than capable of doing that. If you want to keep everything contained on your own server, like the more traditional way of hosting your own images and files, well, Connect CMS comes out of the box ready to do that. But it still, uh, because it's closely coupled with Keystone JS, can take advantage of Keystone JS's hooks for the cloud services. And then, of course, you have the pros, which is the reason Connect CMS is built on top of Keystone JS. Is Keystone JS is native JavaScript. It's very fast. It runs on the server and Node, and it also interfaces with MongoDB, which uh, is a no a, a NoSQL or non-SQL database. It's a in fact, it's a very JavaScript-centric database uh, that works really well with Node. Uh, and then Keystone JS has an amazing design when it comes to models and database abstraction. It allows, that's what I was saying, if you need to create a custom form or you need to uh, take information from your client or just pass information in general around a website, uh, the models and the database abstraction and the API interface with Keystone JS makes that very easy and very easy to customize and connect CMS builds on that. If you look at the source code with Connect CMS, you'll see that uh, it's largely just an API to Keystone JS. Okay, so now that we've covered a little bit of this, let's do a little deeper uh, review of what I was talking about with front-end development uh, in Connect CMS. I won't show you the server-side command line in this video, but that's there and it's running, and that's where all this data is coming from. It's being fed in from the server. But if you go, say, to the example pages, so right now we're on the demo, the Connect CMS demo. If you go to page one, you can get an ex you can get a view of uh, the standard image layout that is possible in the WYSIWYG editor. Again, very similar to WordPress. You can also see the file download option. So this is a hyperlink that was that was uh, linked in. And let me just show you what that looks like on the back end. There's page one. So again, here's the WYSIWYG editor. And here's what it looks like. And I can drop those images in using this plugin right here. That lets me view the image library, lets me select the different sizes that I have available to me, the alignment, alt tag, caption, and then here that to do a file, this is another plugin right here, and this is lets me select a file from my file library and the text, and then it creates a hyperlink with the download attribute so that it just downloads when people click on that. And so let me show you Here's the image library. I've already shown that. And then the interface for uploading a new image. And then here is the file library. Very simple. Just list files, and you can either delete them or not, and upload new files. So very simple interface. And let me show you the other demo pages here. If you go to section two, this is demonstrating the use of a 
redirect. So page two exists, but it redirects to page one. And then finally, page three, this is where you can start to see the software stack and the layers of JavaScript going on. So page three just has a very simple JavaScript uh, example here. And so you type a message in, and then it just echoes it back at you. <clears throat> now, if you go to the dev tools, I'm using Chrome, and you look at the sources. Um, page three, here we go, there we go. You'll see that this is just a very vanilla page. It's got the HTML, and then if you scroll past the HTML, You've got your JavaScript here, and this is where you can put debugger statements, and you can you can debug it. And if you go to that page in the Connect CMS dashboard, bring up page three, you can see. And what you'll need to do in order to access the JavaScript is click on that little button that lets you see the source code of your page. But this is where you copy and paste your JavaScript in. And so here is the JavaScript that's actually controlling the JavaScript example right here. So you can debug it in your front end and you copy and paste it here and this is how you get it and this is this controls so this is the first layer of the stack. Now the second layer of the stack is is the actual back end that you're seeing right here. All these these are called views. This is a backbone application. So if I wanted to create a new view in here, uh, I would mimic the existing infrastructure but again you can use your front-end tools to look at things and see what's going on under the hood so right here we're on we are on this view right here this add new view in fact let me just click that so we know that we're there to, uh, so this is a brand new a brand new page it's ready to accept a new page and I want to see what's going on so I'm going into the JavaScript folder application and I have other videos that go that go into depth on this. This is just a, a brief overview. That's why I'm going fast. Review the video section on connectcms.com to get more information on this. But uh, this view is the pages add new view. So here is the software controlling this page. And this is a backbone view. And so all the code that controls the interact interaction of this page is right here and the HTML that actually makes up the structure is <laughs> not showing up but the uh, the models uh, that do the data is here and uh, so you can look at the models and then Keystone JS also has its models and views and things that you can look at. Uh, so the data goes all the way from the user experience back to the database. Everything's JavaScript and those first two stacks uh, are designed to be extremely hackable and uh, easy to access using standard dev tools. So this has been a brief overview of Connect CMS. I hope you got a good grasp of what it does, what its advantages are, how to use it. Please look through our video library uh, under the documentation tab on connectcms.com. There are several videos like this. Uh, there's one doing uh, an in-depth review of the Connect CMS file system and how to navigate it, wh where everything is located that you need in order to hack and customize the system for yourself. And also there is a video of a 10 minute, uh, how to launch a website in 10 minutes uh, using one of our droplet clones. So I hope you review those. I hope you play with the software and I hope that this software creates some value for you. And please give back by joining uh, this, the community mailing list and starring this uh, repository on GitHub.